Good morning. And the sprue review is through. Yeah. I'm a poet and don't know it, right? <laughs> okay. I didn't comment at the end of uh, uh, last night's uh, episode where I reviewed all the sprues and everything from the Iowa. I, I didn't, uh, at least I don't think I did. I don't remember saying what I actually thought. Uh, I, I would say that for the most part, I'm quite pleased. I, I'm pleased with the fact that a lot of the small parts don't have a lot of flashing that I have to get off. Uh, what, what I was disappointed in if I, if I have to say, if somebody said, what were you mo the most disappointed in? I would have to say it was the outside of the, of the main hull. There did not seem to be the detailing on that that I thought there should have been. Unless, maybe on the real ship, the outside of the real hull is very smooth. You know, uh, I think I think by the by 1944 or whenever that thing was built, um, they probably started doing a lot of welding and a lot less of riveting plates together. So there there wouldn't be the rivets on there. Uh, so if you're a rivet counter, you don't want that uh, ship because <laughs> there's no rivets on the hull. Uh, but maybe, like I say, maybe that's the way it was. Now, mind you, uh, it could well be that if uh, for those who buy the uh, the add-on kits, uh, may maybe the add-on kits will give a lot more detail to the outside of the hull. Anyway, let's not beat this to death, right? Let's let's move on today with our Rodney. Uh, we can't we can't start the Iowa until I've I'm satisfied that the Rodney is to the point where I want to put it in the case. Um, and that's going to be a long way down the road. So, uh, you remember yesterday, uh, or in the last episode at least, where I was working on this, I was having a problem with this, with this uh, little photo etch piece here, getting it to go around the, the contour of the turret. And I had mentioned that I, that I should have maybe annealed it. Well, I'm going to do that today uh with this piece here and we, we get to use our our new self-locking tweezers now i i know that that the tweezer is is going to um is going to uh act as a heat sink and the the heat won't uh it won't get very hot where the tweezer is unless i heat the tweezer too but that's that's not the problem where they where I have to do the bending. The the, the bending is is on the on the outside twenty five percent of the ends. I'm not uh, being too clear this morning, am I? <clears throat> anyway. Oh, back to the uh, back to the uh, sprue review. What would I do differently? Um, I, I did realize that because it was in 30 frames a second, any motion was going to be a little bit jittery. Okay, I knew that. But somehow I managed to forget about it, and I was doing too much, too much moving. Um, I, I, if I was to do it again, when I had the parts on the rotator, I, I wouldn't have turned them. And when I, when I uh, showed the uh, photo etch frets, Instead of having that uh, piece of wood, I should have had a white background, a piece of paper there, and then they would have showed up better. Um, if I was to do it again, yeah, I'd, I'd do it a little bit differently. So uh, uh, I'm sorry if it wasn't as clear as it possibly could have been, uh, but I, but I think it kind of showed everything. Anyway, now let's let's uh, get our little let's let's flick our bic and. Uh, Heat this up and see if it's going to make a difference. We'll try and bend it again. I might be overdoing it here, but 
I'm not too worried about, like I say, where the tweezers are because I don't, I don't want it to bend there anyway. I want that to stay straight. Okay, let's try this out. I've uh, cleaned the soot off of there. I was actually kind of surprised that there was so much soot because I, I didn't realize that propane or butane would would give off soot. Now remember, we only want to do it on on the on the ends, not not in the center. So let's not get too exuberant here. And the, and the place where it's going to be the hardest to bend will be right there where it's the thickest. So let's just see what's going to happen here now. Just roll this back and forth. Whoops. This appears to be working a lot better. I should have done this yesterday. It was yesterday, right? You know what? Maybe I should put the macro lens on, right? Now, it could be that I did not go enough on this one, so I'm just going to do it just a little bit more. Try and bring this piece at more of a right angle. curving it. Okay, where's the photo etch plier here? Just sort of straighten that out just a little bit. Um, how's that look? Well, let's try it and see how, how it works. Well, I don't know what to say here. I didn't do a very good job, did I? Okay, now here's the first one. I was thinking that maybe what I should do is I should take it off and kneel it, straighten it out and re-bend re it, but I don't know. Probably may end up, end up making it worse. Oh, by the way, this is the uh, Bob Smith Industries Instacure.
Okay, let's move on. We've done our rangefinder. And uh, now we make some kind of, I guess, hose reels. Probably three different sizes because they take different uh, parts. H2, H3, and J6. I can imagine that uh, it might be easy to get these mixed up, so I'm going to want to, if I nip them all at the same time, I'm going to want to keep them in separate tins. Okay, I've got our tins all made up here for the various parts, and uh, each one of these reels, it looks like, takes seven pieces. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of little little pieces we have to cut, and it would be easy to get them mixed up because uh, a lot of them look alike. They're just very slight differences. And then I thought, well, what what do I call this this reel? Like, what is this reel called? Is it like reel number A or one or whatever? And so I thought, well, I just couldn't find anything. And so I thought, well, when when is it that we actually need these? So I carefully went through the manual here. And it's not until we get to step 20 here that we start dropping them on the deck. However, uh, okay, there's two, four, six. I don't know where the seventh one is. Maybe it's further on. But the thing of it is, it, it still doesn't say which one to drop down. Now, are they going to be that much different that we, they can't go wrong? Like, you know... This one, for instance, wouldn't plug into a hole that this one did, or, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I, I don't think so. I think it's a case of, uh, yeah, it's, it's, well, what else can we do here? I'm going to keep the pieces separate so that we will get them all made the same. And I guess maybe when we get to step 20, we're just going to have to, you know, check and make sure that it lines up right. If it's not quite right, we'll check another one, see if it lines up better. Uh, anyway, it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's going to take me. Uh, it's going to take me a while to do this, and I'm I'm not going to video nipping the pieces off because if I start messing around with the camera, and and nipping them, there's too great a chance that I'm going to get the the parts mixed up. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this, and I. Don't know if we're going to be having any more episode today. What do we got here? It's almost 1.42. Um, yeah, so uh, today was uh, grocery day and I was busy uh, with that. Not, not that busy, but, uh, you know, it took a little bit of time. And I'm always finding reasons why I'm quitting early, aren't I? And Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah, you know what happens Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Well, today's Friday. So, uh... I, I think I'm going to call this episode quits here, and uh, there might be a rollback for tomorrow. For tomorrow, in other words, what I do tonight. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. And, oh, and, and if anybody knows the the uh, you know what what these reels are, are called, I, I might be missing something here. But 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 I don't think so. I don't think I'm missing anything. Um, yeah, okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.